BC. How are we? Happy New Year. Good to see us again. 2018. Um, sort of due to do a video, I like to do one sort of once a week, um, but I wasn't planning on doing one at this moment. Um, geez, everyone's come out of the blocks in the VC, haven't they? In 2018, there's videos galore, contests galore, and geez, it's hard keeping up and trying to live a life. So um, maybe this will just be life. Ooh. Um, so yeah, so I just thought this one video is just going to type some loose ends from last year, just some which I was trying to try to do before the year was out, seventeen was out, but just didn't get there in time. So basically, some buys I probably got in December, um, and with regard to contests, got some time for those. So hopefully, I'll be getting in, into a few of those. So I hope everyone is well. Hope New Year's went well, celebrated in style. We had a bit of disaster, disaster, all sort of on the news. <laughs> That's the missus. <laughs> Tell me to keep quiet. Okay. Um, um, yeah, we had a bit of a disaster with fireworks. We, um, it was out of proportion, blew out of proportion by the media. Just, just a bit of a barge blew up, but not too bad. A couple, couple of guys got a little bit of minor burns. But the water, the, the barge was clearly on water, so they just jumped in the water and it's all good. Anyway, enough of the ramble. So just hopefully on a big, quick video, just hopefully a quick video, just to show you what I've got in that December, type loose ends. Probably won't talk much about them, just to type loose ends, as I've said. And do a few VC shout outs for people sort of in the 100 range or less. Okay. Okay, so these... So CDs and vinyls, pretty much CDs, a dollar or two each. Foo Fighters, I don't even know what the one, this one's called. Uh, the Colour and the Shape. Um, yeah, I haven't listened to a lot of these CDs, but hopefully get one day, get there one day, well I will. <laughs> Simon Gunfunkel, Bridge Over Trouble Water. Um, yeah, I don't actually have, this is one. A duet to actually I don't have any CDs of theirs I've just only got vinyl so good to pick up a CD so I can put it into the car Ooh, not sound too good this is it might just take that off I think it's a bit dirty all right hmm. okay a uh, bit of snow patrol um, people don't talk about these guys much pretty cool band um, really nice Nice um, melodies. Uh, 100 million suns, so yep. Happy to pick that one up for not much. Bit of Nina Simone. Can't leave her in the shop. Here comes the sun. Here comes the sun. Do, 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 do. Another great hits. So yeah, happy to, happy to pick that up and very keen to spin that soon. Um, my first Pink Floyd CD. Um, got as like someone in Gunfunkel got all my media of theirs is vinyl. Um, but yeah, I was very surprised to find this um, in a thrift thrift shop. Uh, sorry, the glare is terrible. Um, animals, um, animal, animals. Um, yeah, great. I listen to this. Oh. Sometimes you can focus more on the music. In a car, when you know, just you in the car on a drive. Sometimes you can really just all your attention's there with a little bit on the road, obviously, or clearly, hopefully. Um, but yeah, so sometimes it's awesome. Oh, it is awesome to listen to CDs in a car. Um, don't tend to listen to CDs much at home. Stop rambling, my boy. Um, but Roy Orbison, this one's live in Alabama, mate. Um, ah, Arctic Monkeys, my first Arctic Monkeys. Um, I bet you look good on the dance floor. Like Vinyl Richie with his What the Discos. You'd look good on the dance floor, I reckon. Vinyl Rich. <laughs> uh, a bit of Green Day. Insomniac. Uh, not a well known album of theirs. Pretty cool. A bit, bit Rora. And Rora, is that a word? Um, 
a bit more raw, and yeah, I like it. Oh, great band, love this band. Not talked about much at all. Bush, 16 stone. Actually got this on tape, now I've got it on CD. Now just got to find the vinyl, get the trifecta. Ah, classic, um, from the 90s, I think. Yeah, early 90s, Spin Doctors. Uh, what was that song? Uh, Pocket Full of Love, Kryptonite. Singy this year, aren't I? Sorry, sorry about that. I'll probably have to change my curb my ways. Chuck Berry live. So I'm gonna keep moving. Rob Thomas, I'm a fan. He's good. <laughs> and oh, I picked up this. It's quite funny. Um, so when I was in this um charity store a few weeks ago now, um, I was in the CD CD racks, and I go from up to down the, to the ground. And I was down, down low, down the ground, getting dirty and digging, and that's what I love to do. And this elderly guy sort of, he crouched down with me as well. He was like taking me on, which is fine. He was a lovely guy. And he ended up saying, um, yeah, I'm pretty good. So he commented like, I'm, I'm doing all right for 95, aren't I? I was thinking, what? I mean, he was on the elderly side, but I didn't, did not think he was 95, so we sort of, talked a little bit and commented that probably music was keeping him young at heart and we had a bit of a laugh and lovely guy and um it was quite funny the stuff that he was trying to he was like commenting commenting on and pulling out was oh um Bing Crosby oh that's great stuff yeah which is cool um oh Barbra Streisand oh that's great Chris Christopherson and all that sort of stuff and then I found this and I said what about this mate this is good and he I found that Led Zeppelin the BBC sessions. So I said, look at this, mate. I found this, buddy. And he goes, no, I don't like them. <laughs> it was quite funny. Um, but yeah, so anyway, here's 95. What? That's our dream, isn't it? Digging at 95. And he's quite an interesting character because in the end, well, in the end, he basically buys these cheap CDs and listens to them and then brings them back again to a charity store. Like, what a ledge. Um, see, it's the fountain of youth. The... Pillar of Youth, something like that. Anyway, okay, keep moving, Vinyl Boy. Um, Paul McCartney, off the ground. Happy to get that. I haven't spun it yet, I'm not sure. I haven't got much of his solo stuff. Louis, I love the Louis. I've been after for a long time a Louis album with What a Wonderful World on it, and I recently got a tape with that on it. Um, you did a little story background about that. Um, but yeah, I'm really happy to get now one with What a Wonderful World on CD. The Vines. This is sort of an alternate rock, uh, Aussie rock band, previously owned by Anita Castro. Jeez, some connections there. I've got to be careful. Oh, crikey. <laughs> Hopefully I'll see you guys again, and girls. Um, bit of van. There's a few van there, actually, so... Definitely pick them up. Uh, Sinead O'Connor. This is a different Sinead O'Connor. This is one I haven't seen. So, Universal Mother. So, happy with that. Muse. I've got a bit of a love-hate relationship with Muse. I do like them, but I somehow, for some reason, I, I keep trying to say to myself, I don't like them and or don't listen to them, but I, I don't know. I just can't quite connect with them yet. Though I, I sort of want to. Peter Gabriel. Good album. Love Peter Gabriel. Ah, uh, what's this? Shaking the tree. Picked up some Massive Attack, so... Mezzanine, great album. It wasn't what I was expecting, but I liked it. And there was another one here I picked up from there. This was the other one. Oh, yeah. And this one, so... This one's protect Protection. Very chilled, chilled out room. Sort of sounds... I probably prefer this one over Mezzanine, but... Yeah. Um, in excess. Welcome to whatever. You, welcome to whoever you are. I didn't actually know this one, so happy to get that, and I like it. Tracy Chapman, love love Tracy Chapman. I don't actually, and this was a nice album. Anything she does is great. She's a very very talented woman. Ah, classically, hooting the blowfish. Who doesn't know this? Um, let her cry, isn't it? It's, who doesn't know? Probably me. <laughs> anyway, Frankie goes to Hollywood. 
Relax. Uh, another great find. Audio Slave. Great album. Is this self titled? Gasoline or something like that? That's the song on there, but I think it's just self titled. These are all, I think, $2, between $1 and $3. And Michael Jackson, Invincible. Haven't heard this one, so 16 all new songs. Hmm. Cool. All right, so that's the CDs. Um, now go on to some records. Um, I finally got myself a copy of Rubber Soul. Yes, I didn't have this before, and I really dig it. So it's probably up there in my top maybe three, five Beatles albums. So really happy to get that. Um, this was one I found down in the dark, darkest digging sort of shelves you can get. Um, I wasn't going to go down. It was probably even too dark and dingy for me, but... I thought, it doesn't look like anything's been overturned down there for a long time. So just, you're not going to find anything. But I did, and I was really stoked. This is Hunters and Collectors. Great Aussie band who, I'm not sure if you know about them, but great sort of pub rock. And I've read, actually looked up about them, what their sort of genres they are. It's pub rock crossed with art funk. It's sort of got, that sort of, rock, um, pop rock sort of feel, but it also got trombones and trumpets and all other sort of types of wind instruments, and they're great, great band. Um, Human Fragility, so there's no cover with this. What I try to do is actually use these as a cover and what I'll, and write the song titles down, because um, it's nice to know to see the title, the um, song sort of, you know, running titles as you're listening to the album, and what I'll do, I might print off the actual cover and put it on the back or the front or something so to make it sort of like a semi sort of cover um, but yeah Human Fragility one of their best albums and the quintessential Australian song of uh, Throw Your Arms Around Me that's just classic Aussie track very happy to pick this one up as all of them um, Rolling Stones Sticky Fingers this is a great bluesy album and we all know it oh sorry about that <laughs> and no zipper like a lot of them um yeah this is really good really good i hadn't really heard this one before so really stoked to get that it's really cool blues bit of lou reed rock and roll animal this is a great album i've listened to these a couple times and yeah i really dig this um so yeah happy to get that one and finally was the Scorpions, Virgin Killer. Um, yeah, pick that up. So, yeah, I only listened to this one, so can't give you any of my analysis. Not that it's up from the very deep. So, that's my roundup for 17. Let's move on to the 18. Um, some shout outs. Um, I can't do links, so I'll probably just write down their names and do a bit of a this way or that way or this way um, Project Gemini Mark Canadian guy he's he's cool um, sort of sub with him for only probably a few weeks got some good stuff I think he's in a band actually and yeah so he's got some good tastes and yeah I dig his channel um, Danny at Not Enough Records really talks well about stuff and shows some great stuff Roger at Jolly Roger. He's a cool dude. Yeah, just lay back. Nice guy. Jolly Roger. Dude73. I don't know his name. He's just dude. Um, great guy. Great Born in great year. Really nice guy. Shows cool stuff. Mostly CDs. A uh, bit wacky. And... Something else I'm going to say about him. But yeah, he's really nice. You can see in comments a lot of people's videos. And just a not general, all-round nice guy. We've got... Headbanging Zulu, Zolo, Headbanging Zulu from UK, Steve. He's a nice guy too. You know, he shows cool stuff, tells some cool stories. So, yep. And Leo at Too Much Metal is Barely Enough. Great Aussie guy from Adelaide. Amazing knowledge about metal. If you want to know them about metal, look up Too Much Metal, Barely Enough. Um, 
and all the subgenres and it just blows me apart. Anyway, that is me tying up loose ends for 17. I'm seeing you on 18 and I have actually been good this year. I haven't bought a record at all. Okay, you look after yourselves. I'll be seeing you again soon.